nesters welcome back to my channel today I'm sharing with you my Goodwill thrift haul this goes with my last Goodwill thrift along with me if you guys caught that video some of these items might seem familiar to you so I will try my best to break it up into categories with things I'm selling in my antique booth things I'm selling on Etsy and then things I'm going to keep myself we'll see how this goes <laughs> so I think I'll start with my antique booth first I came across these coffee mugs here. I was really drawn to them because of the bright colors. I really thought they were fun. They are, you know, a more modern piece. They are made in China, but I thought they were really, you know, quite pretty. And they have these flowers on them here, just on the one side. And I really like them. So they were marked $2 a piece. I did get 25% off my entire order. And so... Let's see, that would have been $1.50 a piece there. So not bad overall. And I'm gonna put these in my antique booth because they're not vintage, clearly. I can't put them on Etsy, but yeah, I really thought those were quite nice. So again, I picked up another thing that's kind of on the modern side. They're not super old, but I thought they were quite pretty. It's this little salt and pepper shaker set here. I paid $1.50 for the set and Another item I will be putting in the booth. I thought it'd be really nice to put in there for the spring summer season. Uh, yeah, so I thought those are pretty cute. So I paid $1.50 for the set of six coasters here. It has a pineapple on the front and it seemed in pretty good condition. Definitely looks more modern to me, but that's what it looks like there, the pineapple. Uh, another booth item because again, I don't think they're 20 years old, so I can't put them on Etsy, but I think people still like pineapples, though I am seeing a lot being dumped in the thrift store, so I don't know, maybe the trend's coming down, but I think it's safe to pick it up right now to resell for the spring, summer season especially. I think they'll do pretty well. People will be looking for coasters, you know, when they're outside, don't want to get their patio furniture, uh, you know, rings on it, so yeah, I think, I think those will do okay in the booth. So I did pick up a couple of Christmas items to resell in my booth. Obviously, I'm going to hang on to it for just a little bit and, uh, you know, put it in the booth come closer to Christmas season. But I grabbed this snowman spoon rest here. I thought it was pretty nice. I don't typically pick up snowman stuff, but I liked it with the holly here on the end. And it was only $1.50, so I'll probably, you know, ask about 8 eight to 10 for it, probably like eight, I would say. And it's nice to have smalls like these that, you know, help pay that rent. So yeah, I think that was pretty nice. I saw this really pretty set of three decor pieces sitting on the bottom shelf here. I got them for 75 cents a piece. I just thought they'd be really nice for spring, summer season. It's always nice to add things like this in my booth, you know, to upgrade it for the season. And yeah, I just thought those are really nice. So I'll probably sell them as a set and let's see. I would say probably ask between maybe 10 to 12 for them and I think they should do pretty well. So this next item is something I picked up. I, I like it for myself. I'm either keeping it for myself or going to put it in the booth. Now when I did the thrift of me and someone had commented that they just picked this up at the Dollar Tree, so I guess it's potentially from the Dollar Tree. Let me know if you guys have seen that there. I don't get to Dollar Tree too often, so I'm not really familiar if it is, but nonetheless, it's a really nice little picture there. It has lemonade and like lemons cut out around it on the glass. I just thought it was really nice. It does have this plastic lid here. The plastic seemed more like the vintage style plastic to me, but you know, I don't think this is really that old, but I just really liked it anyways. So I'm either gonna, you know, keep it for myself or put it in the booth. I feel a little bit duped if it was at the Dollar Tree or currently at the Dollar Tree because they did have it marked $3, so I paid $2.50, is that what it is, $3, something like that. <laughs> I paid like two, no, two forty, I think, for it and yeah, I still really like it and I was happy to pick it up even if it, you know, was from the Dollar Tree. So I found this vase there. It appears to be decoupage somehow, but I really thought it was quite gorgeous. I am hanging on to this myself for the time being. I just really thought it'd be a nice piece to have for the summer season. Just a nice little, you know, vase to cut some wildflowers and put in on the table. So I really liked it. It was marked two, so I got it for $1.50. 
and my friend Erin over at Gentle Thrifty Mama. Go check her channel out if you guys aren't familiar with her. She is another person that enjoys going thrifting often. Um, she actually commented on my Thrift With Me video that she enjoyed this as well, so I thought it was funny that she had uh, picked that out. We seem to have a similar eye a lot, so yeah, I got that. So I also grabbed this here. I thought this was really gorgeous. You know, I have two little boys. One is three and one is one years old, so you know, it wasn't too long ago I had a little teeny baby. My one-year-old is, you know, still quite in the baby phase, so I just was really drawn to this piece here. I am considering keeping it myself, but where it's only one baby, I wish, you know, if I had a little boy on the side, I would definitely keep it, so I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one, but I, if not, I'm thinking I might resell it in my booth. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how something like this would do on Etsy. I could potentially sell it in there in the future if I decide to let it go. We'll see what end up ends up happening there, but I paid $1.50 for it, and I just thought it was really precious. This was probably one of my happiest finds of the day there. It is a Spice of Life Sea and Store Pyrex container and I don't come across these too often. It seems like when I do they are the smaller size. I have I think I have one other in the Spice of Life and I think the other one is like the verde green color but I do collect Pyrex right so I was happy to get that and I only paid a dollar fifty for it. So I did find some Butterfly Gold Corel. You guys know I'm collecting that, collecting all the Pyrex compatible Corel. This seems to be the one I come across the most. Spring Blossom is the second, you know, one. The other three is very rare. The Old Town Blue I come across probably fairly often, but the Snowflake Garland and the, uh, I can't even think of the other one right now. Oh, Woodland, Woodland. Those two I don't see that often, so. But this one I typically do see quite often. These were marked a dollar a piece, so I get them for 75 cents a piece. So I paid a dollar, no, not a dollar. I paid three dollars for the four of them here. There's three dinner plates and one salad plate. They had a couple other ones there, but the yellow was wearing off on it. I'm not sure if that was dishwasher damaged or what happened there, but these seem to be in good condition. So I was happy to get these. So I also grabbed this sign here, and I thought it was really nice. It's obviously a decor piece, but I think you can use it for maybe a cheese board or something, you know, some kind of a serving tray. But I just really like stuff like this with the recipes and stuff on it. So yeah, I thought that was really nice, and I like the look to it. Also in the Christmas section, I saw this burlap bag here with the Santa on it, and it has this really nice wooden handles. It was marked $2, so I paid $1.50 for it, and it does have the Santa on both sides. I just thought it was really cute. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I do like my Santa stuff, so I grabbed him for myself, and I'll figure it out when the time comes. I like to thrift a lot of wall art decor, mainly painted floral pieces, and I like to get the cross-stitch pieces that I'm drawn to. And then the other type that I really like is landscaping with mountains, ocean, etc., like that. And so I did grab this because I, it was a little bit damaged there, but it was just so unique. I don't know if you guys can tell if it really comes across, but can you see that it's actually 3D? I don't know which way to show you to see. I don't know if it's coming off, but this is actually textured. It's like, you know. 3D, like I said, it comes out, and I just thought that was the neatest thing. I'd never seen anything like that before. It was marked $2, so I paid $1.50 for it, and I don't know, this doesn't really bother me that much, but I might try to figure out a way to fill that in. I don't know how I could do it without ruining it, really. Hmm. If you guys have any ideas how to fix that, let me know, but yeah, I really like that, and I was happy to get this. I'll add it to my Woodland collection that I have, uh, a little bit of a gallery wall going on. So yeah, I like that. All right, so moving on to the stuff that I'm going to resell in my Etsy shop. I saw these little seals sitting on the shelf and look at those eyes. They are just staring at me and how can you leave these behind, right? They're so adorable. They had them marked $2 each, so I paid $1.50 each, so $3 for the set. And yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna ask for him yet. I haven't really figured any of that stuff out. But yeah, how cute are these guys? 
I call them sea puppies. Does anyone else call seals sea puppies? <laughs> I just think they're super cute. They're always like one of the most fun animals to look at when you're at the zoo, right? So cute. And once again, I just looked down a little bit further and I saw this seal here. And this one's eyes, I mean, look at his face. How could you not take him? He gives you those old puppy eyes right there, right? So he was $1.50 as well. This one actually has a sticker on the bottom. It says made in Mexico by Oxford. So I'll have to look into that. I've never heard of that uh, company before, but another one that's going up on Etsy. So if anyone's a SEAL fan, be on the lookout for those. So this I paid up for, I don't know why. It was marked $5, right? So I knew, I knew I was probably gonna get the 25% off because I had my cart pretty full at that point. So I think I justified it by knowing I was gonna get for $3.75, which isn't as bad, but it is put out by Homeco. It is Bone China. And I just really liked it. I believe that's a hummingbird. And I looked it over pretty well. I don't see any issues with it. I usually look it over again before I put it on Etsy just to you know make sure there's nothing going on with it. But yeah, this will be up on Etsy. I do have some birds in my own collection, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put this one up on Etsy just because I spent more than I would have liked, right? But yeah, it was really nice and it almost looks like it was signed here. I don't know if you guys would see that, but it looks like some kind of signature in the bottom here. So I'll have to figure out or try to figure out what that says. But yeah, I thought that was really nice. So also in the Christmas section, I came across this little set of choir angels, I guess. It looks like they're singing there. And it's actually a candlestick holder. And yeah, I just thought this was really gorgeous. I love the detailing on the front there. And I thought someone would really enjoy this. It didn't seem to have any kind of chipping or issues that I could, you know, see in the store there. And it does say it was made in China, but it actually says on the bottom 1997 as well. So it is vintage by Etsy standard. So it will be going on Etsy. And it says copyright growth. I don't know if that's the name of a company. I assume it is. I don't know why they would put that on there, but I've never heard of that before. <laughs> um, they had it marked $3, so I paid... 225 for it and yeah I thought this was pretty nice I'll probably hold off and put it up a little closer to Christmas you know probably around July I think I'll start listing the Christmas items after I do my thriftmas in July collab that I do every year so yeah I think that was pretty nice <laughs> okay I didn't even know I actually ended up grabbing this I thought I had set it back down I think I said in my thrift me that I didn't get it and Lo and behold, I actually did buy it. So apparently I thought it was pretty cute after all. Now, I used to pick up tins quite a bit and I would resell them in my antique booth and I used to collect them myself. I still have, you know, quite a few in my collection, but I don't know. There's something about bears that I don't typically care for. I know there has to be a collector out there for them, but I really thought this was adorable. I think the bears are starting to win me over, but I don't know the age of it, but obviously it looks, you know, to be older. It was 75 cents and yeah, so I'm actually glad it has different detailings around the side there. Super cute. But anyways, I'm actually glad I ended up picking this up because I am curious how well tins will sell on Etsy. So I'm going to throw it up on there and we'll give it a shot. And if they do good, you know, if it does good, I might pick up more in the future. So yeah, I thought that one was super cute. I also picked up this nice trivet here. It is a smaller sized one, but it has this little farmhouse scene on it. And it was only 75 cents, but it was actually put out by Inesco Japan. So you can see the vintage sticker on there. So that was a major selling point for me. I do pick up trivets like this fairly often, but the sticker sold me on it, right? So that'll be going up on Etsy if anyone is interested in that. So I thought this was a pretty fun find here. It's a nice collector's plate. It is a Walt Disney World one, and I just thought it was really nice. I like to pick up the ones that have the string on it, you know, attached already or some kind of a clip so it's easily hung on the wall. Um, I feel like that's the type you want to look for if you want to resell collector's plates because people don't really typically like to get the stands, you know, and just set them on a stand. If they get something like this, they typically want to be able to hang it on their wall and make kind of like a, you know, plate gallery or whatnot. They do make little sticky tabs you can get to put on those to, you know, do the plate walls. So, you know, it is available if you uh, want to pick those up. If you see a different collector's plate that you want to resell, 
I would suggest maybe buying one of those to put on it just so it's good to go for people. But this is put out by Walt Disney Productions Japan and I paid 75 cents for it. And collector plates do pretty well for me actually. So I was happy to grab that. So I did get this for me as well. You guys know I collect green glassware. I actually have one just like this and I paid $1.50 for this one. It's a nice little planter here. And I thought I was going to be done here because my, my two shells, I'm looking at them, are pretty full, but I actually think I'm going to sell my milk glass. I know, <laughs> there's a lot of people that really enjoy milk glass and I feel like they would appreciate it more than I do. I really, you know, am more drawn to color and though I think milk glass is very beautiful, I think I am going to clean them up and, you know, I have some plants, you know, in some of them, so I gotta clean those up and I think I'm gonna post them, start posting some on Etsy and we'll see how they do. I'm not gonna post them all at once, but yeah, if you guys are into milk glass, you know, be on the lookout for that because I am, I think I'm gonna let most, if not all of it go and move, you know, move completely on to green and blue glassware. So yeah, I'm gonna get that up there to replace some milk glass. So I saw two of these, what would you call them? Ceramic hand painted decor pieces here. And I thought they were really gorgeous. I love the scenery on them. I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with them. I potentially might keep them. I could, you know, resell them, I think. It would be interesting to see if something like this would sell. They are quite heavy, so if I resell it, I probably would put it in the booth just because I think, you know, it'd be super, you know, heavy and expensive to ship, maybe. And I only paid $1.50 a piece for them. I'll show you what they look like here. This one's in pretty much perfect condition. I didn't see really any serious issues with the paint on it. The other one, has, well, I guess there might be a little bit there, but it kind of just looks, you know, I guess a little in the tree there, but it's really not that serious, you know. It doesn't take away from the overall picture at all. And the back just looks like this, so you can hang it up, you know, on this lip there. And then I'll show you the other one here. They're super heavy. <laughs> but I really like this one with the fishing scene and the river and stuff. I just thought these are really gorgeous. And this one does have a little bit more paint wear issues on it than the other one, uh, mainly up in the tree here and uh, I guess kind of just on the stick. So again, nothing too serious. It doesn't really take away from the overall beauty of them, but I just really like those. $1.50 a piece and I'm probably just going to put them up on my wall uh, at least for a little bit until I can decide what I want to do with them. But yeah. I really like those and I was happy to get them. Great deal, $3 for the set. So the last item I picked up is this really gorgeous hand-painted wooden piece here and I paid $1.50 for it. I know it's vintage so I can put it up on Etsy. It does say, you know, 1998 there by whoever made it. And up here it says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. Those of you that are familiar with the Bible, that is from Ecclesiastes 3, uh, verses 1 through 8. And yeah, so I thought this was really nice. There is just a little bit of damage, it seems to be right there, but I mean, this is a really nice piece. I love how the spring flower, that's like a 3D pot there, so it has like the spring flowers on it. I just think it really reflects each season very well, and I really love this Bible verse. There's also a older song from like the 70s out there called uh i think it's called turn by by the birds so the birds or the turtles i think it was the birds <laughs> and yeah i really like that song as well but yeah that's a really nice verse even if you guys don't you know you aren't christian check out that verse because you can get a lot of perspective from you know about life from that verse so I thought that was really nice. But yeah, that'll be up in my Etsy shop for anybody that is interested in that. So that is gonna do it for my haul today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which item was your favorite that I picked up. 
and maybe even your least favorite item. That would be interested too. You'd be like, why did you get that? <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure you subscribe so you catch tomorrow's. Um, actually, it's not going to be a thrift along with me. Today, I actually went to a rummage sale. This is the first rummage sale of this season. I actually went to two, and then I went to a couple yard sales after that. So I think that will be my next video. So stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.